Hey, I'm Jeff Brooks with GreenerGrass.com. Why don't we check out three of the worst passenger experiences in the sky here in the United States? Much of the flying here is regional, meaning it's between two places that aren't very far apart without much demand. Airlines who want to serve these routes do so through their regional partners, and those partners sometimes use the CRJ200 to serve the routes. Many frequent flyers would agree with me in saying they are, in a word, terrible airplanes. Let's see whose is the worst. Delta Connections is Delta's regional brand. Currently, there are six airlines that operate under that brand. Two of them, Endeavor Air and SkyWest, operate CRJ200s. On this flight, I was headed from Greensboro, North Carolina to Detroit, Michigan. Now my carry-on bag would be just that on a mainline aircraft. A carry-on bag. I could place it in the overhead bin. Unfortunately, when flying a CRJ200, I was required to gate check the bag, which means I left it at the side of the airplane when I was boarding and picked it up in the same place when we landed in Detroit. Welcome inside a Delta Connection CRJ200. As you can see, it's neither up to date nor very comfortable. Arranged in a 2-2 configuration, these seats are tight. There's also, again, very little room in the overhead bin. Just enough for a carry-on bag, a small one at that. Now the seats are regional at best. I can't say they were even remotely comfortable. According to Seat Guru, the Delta CRJ200 offers 50 seats with a pitch of 31 inches and a width of 17.3 inches. The tray tables on these planes are small but sufficient. Arrival into your destination isn't as easy as just getting off the plane and heading to your next gate. Instead, you've got to wait in the jet bridge to get that gate checked back. Sometimes it takes a good amount of time. If you think things are better over at American Airlines, well, <laughs> you'd be sorely mistaken. This flight was from Greensboro, North Carolina to Washington, D.C.'s Reagan National Airport. I lucked out because I got an entire row to myself, which was a good thing, because if you're sharing space with someone on a CRJ200, you better know them really well. There's almost no personal space on these planes. At least you'll have your own air vent, though. According to Seat Guru, American Airlines offers 50 seats in their CRJ200s, just like Delta. They have 31 to 32 inches of pitch, depending on where you're sitting, and between 16 and 3 quarters inches and 17.2 inches of width. There is room in the seat in front of you. Not much, though. Again, anything of size needs to be gate checked. In terms of entertainment, all three airlines are pretty much the same. They provide a magazine, a sick bag, and a safety card. As an av geek, I love the window seat, and this is where the CRJ200 really fails. The windows are so low that to look out of them when you're taxiing requires an awkward bend down. The good news is it's nice when you're in flight. On the ground, they're really less than pleasant. It's important to acknowledge that the reason that airlines use the CRJ200 is because it makes financial sense. When you're flying a short, thin route, meaning it's not very long and there aren't that many people interested in it, you need to use something that makes financial sense, and the CRJ200 does. It's just that from the passenger experience perspective, it's unpleasant. You do get a tray table, though. I don't usually show bathrooms in my trip reports, but these are among the worst. I'm 5 feet 11 inches, and I can't stand up in them. And just like Delta, American arranges their CRJ200s in a 2-2 configuration. You really get a sense back here of just how tight these seats are. And how lucky I was. 
to get a whole row to myself. By far the highlight of this flight though, was this approach into Washington DC's Reagan National Airport. You got great views of the Capitol as you're flying along the Potomac River. Currently, two of American Eagle's nine carriers operate the CRJ-200s in their fleets. They're PSA Airlines and SkyWest. Now, on this particular flight, we collected our bags right outside the airplane. Now, because I like airplanes, I didn't mind. Also, the weather was great. If you don't like airplanes and the weather's not good, waiting for this cart can be kind of painful. Once you grab your bag, you head to a bus. Now, this is changing as Reagan is undergoing a renovation, but for now, this is how it's done. Now, don't let United Airlines fool you. Their CL-65 is just a model number for the CRJ-200. It's the same airplane, and I'm sorry to say, just as bad. According to Seat Guru, United offers 50 seats just like the other airlines in their CRJ-200s. Their pitch ranges from 34 inches in their Economy Plus seats down to 31 inches in the other 46 seats. Two of the eight United Express carriers use the CRJ-200 in their fleets. That's Air Wisconsin and SkyWest. I do have to admit, I like United's Stroopwafel snacks. And, just like the others, it's a 2-2 configuration, really packed in there. And there is room under the seat in front of you, along with small overheads, but if you've got anything of significant size, you're going to have to gate check it. So there you have them. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think has the worst CRJ200 out there. As for me, now that I've made this video, I'm going to do my best to avoid them in the future. If you like this video, that's more than I can say for the experience of the CRJ200, please click the thumbs up button. It's been an interesting one to, uh, to put together. Uh, if you didn't like the video, go ahead and double click the thumbs down button uh, and leave me a comment. Let me know, give me some feedback uh, about what I can do better. Hey, uh, regardless, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Lots more videos like this to come. In the meantime, see you in the sky.